So we got our broken rubber dam frame. We're going to repair with the 557 fur here. So we got the 557 going about halfway through the frame. And then we pull it out. And that should be nice and firm. If it's nice, not nice and firm, just take it out and do it again. Because I had to do that two times already. You guys just didn't see that part. And then you use your brand new 1958 burr. And you're basically going to section it probably leaving about three or four millimeters hanging out kind of about the same amount as you have here on the plastic uh, prong here make sure you have some safety glasses while you're doing this so sometimes these things can kind of just fly off there and the top of it does heat up so Careful, and you don't have to go all the way through it. You can just kind of go mostly halfway, and then you can kind of just break it off like so. Make sure you discard this in a sharp um, container or something like that. And then, as you can see, the tip of that is still pretty sharp, so you want to smooth it off just like you see on the other one, so it don't poke your patient. So just smooth it off a little bit. And voila, it's fixed. Now, on the side, it's not as critical because you still have a prong here and hopefully you have a prong here. But if a prong breaks off on the, on the corners here or here, it is going to be important for you to actually have some type of stability or your rubber dam is going to kind of flop around. So, um, so that's it. So the, the rubber dam frame is fixed. So you don't have to just throw these away when they break. And I'm going to show you what it's like when you, can, when you put it on. about using um, my method of placing a rubber dam is there's one universal punch and a lot of people don't know this so now the rubber dam frame is on the rubber dam so it's pretty much solid you can see all the way around and these are the corners that are really critical in holding it together and make sure that there's no prongs poking the patient and then use your rubber dam punch and when you punch it you want to make sure you punch it right in the center the cool thing about punching it right in the center is that it can, it's a universal punch you can use it for lower teeth and upper teeth and another trick is especially if you're a dentist starting out you don't maybe know how to place the rubber down um, basically for the uh, lower teeth it goes here just straight down just like you would um, see it here and this bow represents the chin rest so that's how you can know which way it goes so you you put that on the chin um, and that way it'll be properly angled and um, if you want to need it for an upper tooth only thing you do is you will still orient this right towards the chin but you would just basically turn your clamp around the other way so it's a universal you don't have to be if it's a, a right tooth you have to punch on the right side left tooth a center punch will help everything so hopefully this helped some of you guys out there with the rubber dam of how to repair a rubber dam and hopefully it'll make you a better uh, endodontist or even a better general dentist doing uh, better root canal uh, treatment for your patients. Again, this is Dr. Rico Short. Thank you for your time.